Hi. Um, just got off a plane the day before yesterday, uh, back from the Czech Republic doing some clinics over there. And next week, uh, I'm very excited. I was invited to be a presenter at uh, Titleist Performance Institute's uh, uh, World Conference uh, being held in Orlando. And Dave and Greg, uh, who head up that, I'm very excited to uh, see them again. I saw them at a conference uh, about six months ago, and they do such a great job. Dave and Greg are extremely curious, and what they've put together at TPI is tied for first, to use a Michael Hebron expression. It's brilliant. And uh, I'm pretty curious, people say, and Dave's curious, and Greg is, and that whole curiosity. Uh, is uh, very, very important. And uh, I think that we could say motivation is based on curiosity. And to keep students curious will keep them motivated. We've all done something, uh, read a book for a long time, or practiced for a long time, and not really realized how much time we had spent looking for the next page and the next idea or next shot we were playing because we were motivated to do that because we were curious. So one of the messages from uh, Neural Learning for Golf would be, uh, you've heard me say keep, give people choices, but also keep them curious. You know, when people are curious, they're pretty motivated and keep going. And I fly from there to uh, Dublin Island. Uh, I'm going to see my friend Goth McShay, and uh, Goth has uh, had me over, and. Uh, we spent some time with the pros in Dublin last year. Actually, they came from several countries, Northern Ireland and uh, England and such, so I'm very excited to go back there. And one of the reasons I do these things, I always learn something. Somebody asks a question or tells me about a book that I'm not aware of or something that's going on in golf. And I've been blessed. Uh, when anybody writes or says that they are uh, very fortunate to do what they do, I want my name to be on that list. Uh, in the last uh, several decades, I've been uh, blessed to be in the golf industry and uh, couldn't be happier and uh, to uh, be able to travel all over the world and have people interested in some of the things I'm just dis discovering. But uh, when we work with students, we've got to keep them curious. We've got to keep them safe. No correcting, no words that are negative. Uh, no matter how positive you are after you say something negative, the research says that negative will stay there. What happens with emotions? Emotions, most of the other information is broken up into parts in the brain, but emotion stays whole. And we all can remember something said to us years ago, or some feeling we had years ago. And that's why it's so important to realize that uh, when we're learning, it goes through emotions. And keeping people curious is a pretty good emotion.